guys, in case you're wondering how you can customize Zoho projects to best fit your operations process, in this video, I am going to show you how to customize your project and your task templates. Doing that can greatly reduce the amount of time that it takes to build or create and track your projects, but only if you utilize them. We're going to learn how to do that today. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Make sure to click on the bell so you won't miss anything that we publish. And yeah, let's let's get started. The first thing I want to show you guys is that there is a difference between the project template and the task template. If I go into this project here and go to the dashboard, under details, I will see a layout. This is the project layout. Anytime you create a project, it's going to have this same layout, unless you create additional layouts. When you click on a task, this is the task layout, and you can create different task layouts. Let's get started with the with the uh, project layout first. All right, so if I go into projects, actually we're gonna go into the back end. Go into the back end, look for customization, and under layouts and fields, you're gonna click on projects. This is the standard layout. When I go here, I see project information, and there are a few fields here, and then I see budget. That's the same thing here, the project information, and then the budget information. If I wanted to add fields here so that for a standard project, it also showed me, you know, the company name, for example, I could do that. Um, but what I would also like to show you is the fact that multiple layouts can be handy, especially if you have certain types of projects that you do often. So for example, if I have a project that is um, for social media, I have a layout that I've created. And in this layout, I may have an additional section. One thing that you'll realize is not all of these fields can be edited or deleted. You may be able to make some changes depending on the field, but some of these or most of these that are default can't be removed. So um, if I hover over, I'll see no option <laughs> to delete these. It says that it can't be edited as well on some of these. Keep that in mind that not everything can be customized here. All right, so I can add a new section, which I just pretty much drag this add section uh, over to the right, and it created this section here. I renamed it as social media details. And then you've also got the option to, you know, add fields. An integration field, I want to point this out, is um, extremely handy because this can allow us to pull information from somewhere else. Right now, we have Zoho CRM integrated. This will allow me to add a field from Zoho CRM. In this case, I'm going to call it company. And I'm going to go to the accounts module and get the account name, which is the company name. And we're going to add that here. What that's going to do is that's going to allow us to be able to uh, choose which company that project is for. All right. Um, now, there are also the fields, like this company field that I just created, that will show here the custom fields. You have a maximum amount, which it's a pretty big number. Uh, most people wouldn't reach that number, but you have 153. It shows you how many of each field type you can you can have. So in this case, if it's an integration field, you can have um, up to five, and it tells you how many more you have left on the on the right. A task template. I created one for that as well, a custom template. Uh, same thing for the task itself you can add remove some of these can be removed uh, let's see if I can remember like this one the billing type can be removed the reminder can be removed um, most of them can't uh, you may be able to make a couple edits I added a section here so for example if it's a social media um, task I want to see 
the name of the post or video, a description for it, the description that will be posted in the caption of the social media platform, the video clip, if there's a video clip, and then thumbnail. Those are just some fields that I just threw in there and said, okay, if this was a social media layout, that's what I would want to see. And then I save it. Now, when I am creating a project, okay, I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to call it my demo project. In the top right corner, though, I am going to choose my project layout because this is a social media project in this example. When I choose that, when, when I create it, it's going to have the fields that are in the template. So we're going to leave everything else as it is. Click Add, and let's add a task list. Okay, so under Posts, I'm going to have Post 1, right? This is a task list. These are tasks under the task list. If I click on that, I see a layout. Now, the layout that I want is the one that is... Um, for social media and as you can see it did not automatically give us that so we're going to go and associate it if i go in here to the social media layout it has no projects associated with it if i click this plus sign i can choose my project and associate so now when I click on it, I can see the additional section that I added to that particular layout, the social media post info. All right, so yeah, that is really handy. Um, there is also a way for you to automatically add your task list and your task, but that's for another video. I can create another video on that. If you're interested in seeing that, drop a comment and let me know. Um, otherwise, if you have questions about creating templates for projects, tasks, the differences, drop comment and I will try to answer as many as I can. All right. Thank you guys. Um, also, don't forget to download our free ebook, A Simple Guide to Customizing a Simple System Using Zoho so that you can customize your system to fit your needs. Um, also, we have a training site called Successful Learning, and you can get there at learn.successfulsolutions.com. Be sure to check out our free options. We have some courses on there that are free, and we have the guide that guides you through how to start a small business if you're just getting started. Um, yeah, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, and until next time, see you guys.